boop, 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 bobbing along. Hi, we're Stuart and Emmy, and we're child-free after infertility. So we decided to change our life plans and moved on to a narrow boat. We're sharing our adventures here, and you're welcome to join us. At the end of our last video, we just arrived back in Marple, and that's where you find us now. It's a cheeky little oat cake. I'm glad we can still get them. Babe. Right, oat cake's eaten, time for a little walk. This is the Roman bridge that wasn't actually built by Romans apparently but I guess dates back to Roman times. I didn't do any research, I just heard what Emmy told me. I bet this is lovely in summer, come and do some paddling. So as an update, the Roman bridge was built in the 1700s, so isn't even that old. Um, it was a pack horse bridge and when it became trendified, the area, they started calling it the Roman bridge because it leads to the Roman lakes, which also may not be Roman. They're not. No, they're not. Look at this tree just growing out of this viaduct. And we've been over this viaduct on, on the train to Sheffield. Yeah. We are at the site of Nella Mill, which was, in 1793 when it was completed, the largest cotton mill in the country. Uh, and it made high quality cottons and muslins for fancy people across Britain and Europe. It burnt down 99 years later. And this is all that's left of it. This was the south staircase. I think this is the wheel pit where the, I guess the wheel was. The sign is all dropped down there. Ah, so the Roman lakes were actually um, reservoirs for powering the wheel for this mill once upon a time. So the guy who uh, made this, ran this business, this cotton business in this mill was called Samuel Oldno and he sounds awful. <laughs> like setting up tolls around the area um, like cotton spinning was horrible work that had to be done in hot, humid conditions um, and like the fluff could make people cough up blood and he paid them in money that could only be used in his shop and paid wages that were less than the cost of rent and food and milk and coal. Yeah. Because that was almost back in Marple, I thought that was going to be a really far walk. <laughs> <laughs> Babe! Hello, and welcome to Searching for a Leak Part 2. Um, you might remember, but in case you don't, a couple of videos ago, we 
noticed our water pump had been going off intermittently and we went on a hunt for a leak and we found a leak uh, at the junction for one of the junctions for our clarifier which we did a bodge job of but it seems to be holding uh, but the e pump is still going off periodically and we still have water uh, building up in our back inspection bilge hatch so i am on the hunt again today for any fresh, new or different leaks. Hooray! So on the, in the previous video, we checked everywhere except for in the kitchen because it's harder to access the kitchen. So today we're starting in the kitchen. Um, also, over the past couple of days, Stu has been fixing all of our leaky windows. So hopefully nothing more is coming in through the windows and the hatch. <laughs> so there's some damp on the walls for sure, but that hopefully is just condensation. Um, there is an inspection hatch under the sink taps, which is great, but someone has put the, when they've put this unit in, they've put the feet on top of the inspection hatch, because otherwise I could just wiggle it free and have a look under it, but I can't. So will we have to cut a new one? Uh, we either have to cut a new one or we have to potentially look at taking this unit out but there's pipe work going through the unit and all sorts. So I think it might be a messy job and it might lead to- More problems. A broken kitchen unit. So probably cutting a new hatch. <laughs> Maybe cutting a new hatch under and seeing how much water there is underneath. Oh, does the foot just come off? It does just come off. Oh, amazing. It doesn't look too bad. I mean there's some there is some wet under there. But not like you'd expect it to be like puddling if it was. There is some moisture under the pipes, but given how wet it is in here generally, I kind of expect there to be some moisture generally. I would have thought we'd be looking for puddles. There's a bit of rust, but again, that's, you know, it's a boat. It's, it's not too bad. So that is our rear bilge, our rear cabin bilge. We've just taken a full sodden nappy out and that's still pretty wet in there. So that's a little bit suspicious. So we headed back to the calorifier. Yeah. Uh... We'd put some tissue under there just to have a quick look and see if it is there and the tissue was so wet I couldn't actually get it out. <laughs> so we think it is somewhere around the calor calorifier. I'd bought a spare junction because I know that one of them is leaking but I'm not a, I couldn't tell if it was still that junction. I'm pretty sure that the leak is just under here. Um, we've looked everywhere else, can't find anything. I've put some more tissue paper under here and I've come back after a couple of minutes and it's wet. It's just hard to identify where it's coming from. Uh, I know one of the junctions is leaking anyway because it was leaking before and I put some plumber's putty around it and that stopped the leak but it still seems to be leaking elsewhere. So I'm just gonna replace the whole junction, see if that sorts it. And if it doesn't, that's a problem because it could be a pipe, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. New junction. Boop. Well, I don't know about the plumbing. I replaced the junction and I think I stopped that from leaking, but I might have caused something else to start leaking. Um, it's hard to 100% say, but on the plus side, I also made brownies. So today is Blondies. A, blondies. Today isn't a total write off. That's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about blondies. But we're going to go out now into town um, and. What are we doing? You're going to get some more of the little corner things. I'm going to get some more plumbing supplies. Um, you're going to post, post some stuff. And then we're going to probably walk the Marple flight and go look at Marple Aqueduct.
Just going for a walk with our lovely new stretch of pipe. <laughs> do we even need new pipes, do? We don't need the new pipe, hopefully, but we probably could use it. And, you know, it's just a bit of a pipe dream towards our fixed plumbing. Marple locks are currently closed, so we decided to walk down and walk them on foot. Currently, lock 7 has actually had a massive issue with subsidence where the structure around the locks has actually collapsed in on itself and so they're having to rebuild a new wall to shore up the inside of the lock wall. This has been going on for some time as I understand it. So we've actually known for ages about the broken lock at Marple. Um, maybe before Christmas we knew, I think it was before we headed onto the Calden Canal even. Um, but there was the only last update at that time was saying they were working on it, it, the next update would be at Easter. So it's still not Easter, but we had thought, oh, if we go slowly up the Macclesfield, we'll see what the next update is. But actually, before even we got to this point, we have made a decision. We're glad we came up this way. Hmm. Sorry, am I talking quite no, a lot? No, no, that's right. <laughs> so there's a new plan. So we're going back the way we came, back down the Macclesfield, um, and we'll be going to Sheffield via the River Trent, which, which is probably, it would have been a slightly quicker route, but we were scared of doing the river. It was actually <laughs> and, the original plan. Um, well, yeah, but yeah. then I was just really keen to come this way. And while it's a shame it hasn't worked out, I am still happy we have had these adventures. I've absolutely fallen in love with Staffordshire mm. and Cheshire. So yeah, really excited to do plan B. And we've booked our boat blacking, which it desperately needs doing already. Um, so we're doing that uh, en route um, and that's booked in so we need to start heading yeah. to make sure we're able to get there in time but yeah we're gonna come down slightly differently we're gonna go down the Shropshire Union because uh, that isn't much of a detour and it'll be a new place to explore so excited for adventures to come adventures <laughs> so we're here in Marple and Sheffield is here we were originally going this way, but the locks, Marple locks, are blocking the way. So we're heading back down and going this way. And we'll move tomorrow, starting already. I'm also glad we get a little more time on the map, because I've really liked the map with Fields. <laughs> Me too. Something up at this lock as well. How many locks at Marple, Stu? Uh, I think it's 16. And this is lock two. This is the tallest aqueduct in England. Should we go down there? Yeah. The engineering is gorgeous. The scale of this aqueduct is pretty intense and the fact that it's got a viaduct that runs parallel to it for the trains and that's like even bigger it's colossal it's not as fancy though this aqueduct is really fancy time for some pipe dances Very good. 
Though I'm not sure if it's a pipe dance if you don't have a bit of pipe in your hand. Found wild garlic. Put it in your pocket. You have it. Yay! I think I think we're moderately happy that the water the leak is fixed. Well, I don't know. Stu said, I haven't heard the water pump go off. But I'm not sure because I was in a flow drawing and we had the TV on and things. So I might have just not noticed. But maybe, maybe the water pump hasn't gone off this evening. Oh yeah, it's been a couple of hours. I don't think I've heard it go off. Um, I did buy some more bits to replace some stuff. And I'm not 100% happy with some of the old pipe work. But also... I don't want to cause it to leak anymore. So. Yeah, let's not mess around if it's <laughs> yeah. happy. Um, so we'll check on it again and mm. keep an ear out. And hopefully Stu's fixed it and carried that pipe around for no reason. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you when we cruise tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Did you have more to say? I was just going to say how amazing my brownies were again. Babe. We're on the move again. Uh, we aren't going too far, just the other side of Marple. I think it's High Lane or something. Um, just to start moving south. Up bridge one, back on the Macclesfield Canal. But there were no pigs. The pigs were a lie. Thank you so much for watching this week. We really hope you enjoyed this video and a massive thank you to Tyler and Jan for the coffees and the lovely message. Um, we really do appreciate the support, it all helps. Thanks again. Please do chuck us a like and a comment and we'll see you next week. Bye.